<laughs> if Saga does not go mad in 24 hours, <laughs> it will be by the grace of God, guys. <laughs> So first off, the video you just watched was Nini leaving the Shanghai mansion as planned with Big Brother earlier today. Guys, if you cast your mind back to the video I posted earlier on my channel, I informed you all about the secret task, secret mission, new prank that Big Brother had assigned to Nini today. He had told Nini to leave the Shanghai mansion for 24 hours, still Philly. You know, without any of the housemates even getting a whiff of her whereabouts or even knowing what was going on. Guys, Biggie had also instructed her that by the time she returns to the house, she is to feign ignorance of what had actually happened. So according to Biggie's instructions, when Nini was ready to leave the house, she was to pack a bag with some basic essentials that she would need and that she was to go and stand by the mirror that was right beside the trophy shelf in the games lounge upstairs yes she was meant to stand by that mirror and just stand there without uttering a word and then the mirror would open that was the emergency exit of the house so the mirror would open and then she would you know find a way out of the house and that was exactly what she did guys i mean <laughs> Oh my god, Nini totally deserves some accolades for pulling off this particular prank excellently. Guys, I mean, she did not even give any hint, any single hint to any of the housemates, not even Saga that was closest to her. And guys, if you recall, she had actually told Saga, you know, when he had failed his own prank, that guy, listen, if it is me, I would do it without even looking back. And even all the housemates too could attest to the fact that if it was Nini that Biggie had given that initial prank that was given to Saga, ha, she would have executed it to the finish, no caps. However, hmm, Nini might have had a lot of difficulty in executing this particular prank if some certain line of events had not happened earlier this evening. And I'll tell you what they are. Now guys, earlier this evening, the housemates had had the munchie task and I don't want to dwell too much on it because a lot of bias actually happened, a lot of unfairness actually happened, which was actually to the detriment of Saga, White Money and Perez game. Yes, guys, I mean, <laughs> Biggie was not fair at all. And I'll give you guys details of it much later on another video. But the events of the Munchy task, it actually really did affect Pere and Saga's mood especially. I mean, guys, it was a glaring bias that Biggie actually displayed um, during the task this evening. And so, <laughs> when they got back into the mansion, a lot of arguments followed suit because Licorose was involved. And of course, Emmanuel Licorose is kissing partner would not have wanted to see Likoro's engaging in a serious altercation with Saga. And so it was like the entire house except Saga's team was completely against Saga. Guys, I don't want to go into the task too much, but then the deal is Saga had been in a very, very horrible mood. And it did not really help matters as well that Nini was spared with Likoros in their own team. You know, it was Nini and Likoros in their own team. And somehow, somehow, the game had gone in favor of Likoros. Yes, so it was just a very, very messed up situation that completely messed up with Saga's mood, especially with the fact that his fellow housemates, they saw how everything played out glaringly. But because of the fear of Biggie, they weren't bold enough to open their mouths and contest, you know, Biggie's decision on how the game played out. So at the end of the night, people who were not really supposed to win, they won. Saga was in a very, very foul mood, yes. And at some point too, it did not really help matters that Nini was not 100% on his side. I mean, he was expecting Nini's loyalty, you know, in that particular situation. But then he wasn't really getting it 100% the way he would have actually reciprocated that energy if Nini were to be in his shoes during the games. And so Saga was very, very sad. Nini had actually eaten her dinner. She had freshened up. She had worn her exit outfit. <laughs> yes. Or should I call it a Jackma outfit? She had worn a Jackma outfit. So she was out there in the garden having conversations with um, Angel. And then much later, the rest of the housemates, they joined them all in the garden. But Saga was at the dining, eating with his back turned 
to the dressing area. Guys, if Saga has seated facing the dressing area, then I'm sure he must have seen Nini's movement because right behind him, Nini was gallivanting. That was the same time that Nini had gone to the closet area to pack up some things in her bag bag. That was the same time that Nini had gone upstairs to go and wait beside the exit door. <laughs> the same time that Nini had jackpot, Nini had disappeared into the beautiful lounge that Big Brother had actually prepared for her. And guys, I've been feeling so sad for Saga. I mean, I can't, what's the time right now that I'm filming this video? I've been feeling really sad for Saga. Saga was just gallivanting the house. Saga was losing his mind. Saga was literally almost banging on the diary room door. He was knocking and knocking and knocking and almost banging. On a normal day, guys, they are not supposed to bang on the door. They are not supposed to even knock on the door. They are just supposed to stand there. Biggie would see them through whatever he uses and then he will open the door for them. But guys, this time around, Saga lost his patience because he had checked all around the house. Perry was also of assistance. Angel was of assistance. The housemates, they've been checking. At some point, they felt maybe she was in the diary room. But then, guys, Saga wasn't really having it because for him, ever since they've been together in the house, such a thing has never really happened that he would not be beside Mimi. So it was driving him crazy. And guys, we jokes apart, it was Saga's toothpick for me. <laughs> it was Saga's floss. <laughs> I'm telling you, that white stick in his mouth. <laughs> the funny thing about this whole deal is, whilst all this activity is happening in the main house, Nini is in her secret room. She has a TV, clearly watching everything as it unfolds. And this stupid girl was laughing. <laughs> she was laughing at Saga. She said Saga will suffer today. <laughs> she was laughing. And guys, <laughs> I understand why she was laughing because before she had left, she had gone to try to have a conversation with Saga in the blue room. You know, Saga had gone to sit on his bed. She, she had gone to go and stay with him. Not like she was going to tell him an exit plan or anything, but she knew that he was angry. He was sad about the whole event of the Munchie task and probably wanted to console him, you know, just give him comfort. But Saga was already pissed and told, him, and told Nini, you know, Nini, you can go and do what we're doing. So Nini had left. It was at that time that she left. That Saga had gone to go and get his food to eat, that Nini had packed her bag and left. Guys, let me tell you why this task would not have been possible. On a normal day, Saga and Nini, they are like this in that house. Like bread and butter, mm? like bee and honey. They follow each other everywhere. No, Saga follows Nini everywhere. So on a normal day, if they had been in good terms, trust me, trust me, <laughs> it would have been a bit difficult for Nini to even get the chance to even pack a bag. Trust me, guys. And so it's making me think now that did Big Brother intentionally, deliberately, <laughs> piss Saga off during the games? Did Big Brother intentionally, you know, <laughs> create a bias in the game so that it would serve as a distraction, you know, to Saga to make Nini's escape kind of easy? Because I guess Big Brother must have studied Saga's personality, must have known that, okay, this guy is very bold and daring. He's the only person in the house that literally would stand up to Biggie at any point in time. So could it be that, you know, the events of the Munchie task actually happened according to Biggie's plan and Saga completely fell for it, who climbed and sinker? I'm thinking, because I, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking what I'm thinking. <laughs> It's making sense now. Anyways, guys, as I'm talking to you right now, Nini is in the secret room. She's watching Pere, Licorice, Emmanuel, Angel, and Saga, you know, keep a vigil at the diary room door. They are all waiting to see if Big Brother is going to respond. Saga has completely gone cuckoo. Like, he has lost his mind. He has been like, open this down, what was all this rubbish? You know, that kind of... He's been parrying, he's been vexing, he's been angry, he's been venting seriously. And guys, they are currently lying down on the floor um, in front of the diary room door. So let's just wait and see how this whole thing goes, yeah? I will definitely give you guys more update about this juicy gist because <laughs> the next 24 hours, it's going to be bloody for Saga. Saga's going to lose his mind. And if Kez is not taken, you just might catch another strike and this just might turn out to be his disqualification week. But guys, 
I don't know. Let's just see how it goes. Meanwhile, watch out for my Munchit analysis, guys. That game needs to be analyzed. I'll definitely do a video about it. That said, go ahead and let me know your thoughts about this whole exit, escape plan, disappearance of Nini from the house. And I'll see you all on another video shortly. Bye. <laughs>